In Ocean City, New Jersey, there's a restaurant that uses a dumbwaiter to move food from the first floor to the second. It's powered by hand using a rope and pulleys, something like this. I thought it'd be fun to design a relay controlled circuit to have a motor do the lifting. Here's the model I made. On the left side is a simulated elevator car. At the top left is the upper stop switch. At the lower left is the bottom stop switch. In the center is the hoist motor. The relays for upward and downward movement are above and below the motor. The push buttons on the right are for starting the elevator either up or down. To start, if the car is between floors, you can press either the up or down button because the two limit switches are closed. Let's start at the bottom. Here the bottom limit switch is not open and pressing the down button has no effect. If we press the up button, the motor starts moving to raise the elevator car. If you press the down button while the car is moving upward, there's no problem because the relay that controls upward movement is blocking the down switch from having any effect. This will be shown in the schematic. When the car reaches the top limit switch, the relay contacts open and de-energize the upward relay. The motor stops and we're back to idle. Moving the car down works the same way. I won't show it here. This is a schematic in ladder logic form. I use a 12 volt power source which is shown at the bottom. There are also four normally closed switches that keep the motor from starting if the doors on either floor are open or if an emergency stop is pressed on either floor. The relay coil and switch contacts for the upward control relay are highlighted in green. The downward movement relay and contacts are highlighted in yellow. The relay and switch contacts look like capacitor symbols. The normally closed contacts have a diagonal line through them and the normally open contacts don't. These are shown with the relays not energized. When the relay is energized, all of its switch contacts change from open to closed. To start the elevator moving up, you need to press the up switch shown at the top right. This completes the current path from the positive to negative supply rails at each side. The K-up relay is energized and all of the K-up contacts change state. This means that the contacts K-up A now close and will keep the K-up relay energized even when the up switch is released. This is called a latching circuit. Two other things happen while this relay is energized. On the second rung, the contacts K-up B are now open. This prevents the down relay from being energized accidentally. On the third rung, the contacts K up C connect the positive supply rail to the motor top contact, and the relay K up D provides a negative supply to the lower motor input. This causes a motor to turn in a direction that will raise the elevator up. When the car reaches the top, the switch up limit opens and this opens a path to the up relay coil. It de-energizes and all of the K-up relay contacts return to their idle state and the motor stops turning. If you press the up switch, nothing will happen because the up limit switch is open. To move the car down, you press the down switch and the same actions take place with the K-down relay and its contacts. Relay contacts KDNC and KDND supply power to the motor in the opposite direction, which moves the car down. The down limit switch opens and the car stops. And there you have it. My next video is a, a four-story single car elevator controlled only by logic gates. Thanks for watching.